Industrial engineering deals with design, planning, and an effective utilization and optimization of various resources, production, and manufacturing processes for efficient operation. It is generally concerned with the implementation of resources like man, machine, materials, method, money, knowledge, information, and analysis for improving the production, quality, and profit of the organization. Reduces of waste of material, time, energy to reduce cost and the human world will be less tiring and more comfortable. It deals with the people who interact to improve productivity, efficiency of the system and organization. Industrial engineering is basically associated with organizational structure and administration. Increase the efficiency and reduce movements. Handling the process by changing layouts, improvements, manufacturing process, by redesigning the production techniques. It is a combination of three words, industrial and engineering. Industrial is related to industry, and industry is related to production. Production means to convert input resources into output product process with the help of production techniques, processes, and processing equipment. The TOI brand is indeed a brand of excellence. It's safe to say that a good amount of IEs have been ready and have been ready and willing to compete in any stages and challenges the field has to offer. The thing I have as an IE is that Studio IE offers not just only one thesis accomplishment but only, but four of them four major test dissertations so that's why it's considered the training of CDU IES just an ordinary training but in fact it's 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 being able to hold the student in its capabil capability to measure how the student is able to not just about the dissertate for dissertations the training of CTU also includes the right decisions to make when it comes to in the reality of IE field. So, so that's it. So, in my opinion, the answer is fairly simple. Each and every one of us is part of a system. You and I can't exist or be what we are now if it weren't for that chain that binds us together. Um, each component of that system is interconnected and interdependent so in such that what happens to one component affects just about everything within that chain. And that's the same when it comes to a problem. For example, when there is a machine breakdown with me, what we think might be a problem with the machine may be a result of a system failure 10 feet away. And that's the case when dealing with problems. Complex problems occurs because of the connection between the components in the system and not just that's not one component itself. Analyzing a problem from a systems perspective allows you to identify the root causes and diagnose potential issues that may occur as a result of the problem at hand. For me personally, I uh, lang not for an organization but also for business. Um, IE is valuable because we plan, we do, we create, we create better um, improvement, better ideas, and be better decision making with respect to 
data or with respect to uh, decision uh, decision making tools. But sad to say, most IEs are not that hands-on compared to before. Okay, Karon is more on the managing aside naman nata. But again, na enhance na nato. So IE is valuable for business success because kita yung nagdaas sa business, kita yung kamaomoran sa business. Uh, we do we do have the subjects with financial, marketing. So always remember sa kanin na thought na we are jack of all trades, master of none. So that is how valuable an IE is in an organization. can be classified as AHP, ANP, Best Worst Method, ISM Micmac Analysis, Demotil, Topsis, Promethe, Vicor, Modea, and Dea. In our case study, we use Demotil method because it has an important property which is to construct interrelations between criteria. In order to obtain a suitable impact relations map, an appropriate threshold value is needed to obtain adequate information for further analysis and decision making. Decision making trial and evaluation laboratory is considered as an effective method for the identification of cost effect chain components in the complex system. It deals with evaluating interdependent relationships among factors and finding the critical ones through visual structural model. We summarized the quality factors we collected online and through surveys and got the top 9 factors as basis to get the top 5 quality factors in City Main Campus. We interviewed an expert to get the relationship between each of the quality factors by giving each criteria with a rating of 0 to 4. 0 no influence at all, 1 low influence, 2 medium influence, 3 high influence, 4 very high influence. Normalizing the direct relation matrix by getting the sum of each rows, choosing the maximum value of all sums to be the divisor in each rating. Calculate the total relation matrix, finding the values of DNR to determine if it's causal or net effect, making a causal diagram. If the values are positive, the quantities are causal, and it is an effect when the values are negative. In addition, the highest value of D plus R will be considered as the highest quality factor. Thus, it has been identified through the DeMetal method that among the top 5 qualities, possibilities for advancement is the most effective quality in graduate education at City Main Campus.